Hey there, fellows. Recognize this thing right here? We painted this car in the freezing cold, but we were literally able to paint just one side and the hood. That's when we ran out of time. Man, we really wanted to make it look sharp. Anyway, so I stumbled upon this interesting thing. You guys are aware of pendulum painting, right? When people find a can, some kind of bucket or bottle, which they then puncture in order for the paint to start dripping, then they hang it and the pendulum. So you've got a canvas on the floor and the drawings turn out to be really trippy and cool. So we thought, why not take our car and paint it using that very same method? I mean, judging by the videos, it's not all that difficult. But what's it really like? Well, we're about to try. I'm pretty sure that the thickness of the paint, the size of the hole, and most likely the quantity of the paint itself, all of that has to affect how it's applied. We don't want it to come out in dots. What we need is a thin stream, or maybe not so thin. Alright, let's set everything up and paint the car. Let's do this. So we've finally gotten around to making our own merch. Here's what we got so far. We're always adding new stuff and we'll ship you anything to anywhere in the world. Oh yeah, and one more thing. The first 100 buyers who use the code GARAGE54 will receive a 15% discount. So go ahead and hit the link in the description down below. And happy shopping! Pendulum painting a car. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Alright, so we have a car, some paint. Some white spirit, just in case we need to dilute the paint or wash our hands. I'm in my work clothes. Garage 54 branded stuff. We've got merch. There's gonna be a link in the description. Okay, so now what do we do? Now the car is stretched out, and we'd like to get as much coverage as we can. And for that, ideally, you'd need a square shape. So we gave this a bit of thought. And perhaps we should remove the doors? and place them on their sides for them to lay there. Move the hood in a bit, open the rear hatch. I mean, we're trying to paint as many panels as we can with the thing and the car in one position. We are working on it, and hopefully we do figure something out. Right, let's go ahead and mask it then. Check this out, fellows. We've decided to remove the doors after all. And get everything into such a position as to paint as much as we can. As for why we came to such a decision... Well... We simply don't have enough height. Now look, in order for us... To give that... Paint bottle a good swing... For it to travel as far as possible... So to increase that pendulum's amplitude... We need that axis, we need more than we have. The point is that the rope has to be longer, but for that we simply do not have enough room. Placing the car on its side would make it even taller, which would mean shortening the rope, consequently reducing the amplitude, meaning we won't cover the car in just one attempt. And so here's how we're gonna go about it. We've got the roof, the doors, trunk lid all on one level. We were also considering placing the hood up here, but that'll result in the fenders being partially blocked off. As in, the paint's not gonna find its way onto them. Whatever, let's try it this way for starters. If it so happens that we're not satisfied, we can always move the car to wherever we need it to be. Right. Enough talk. Let's go ahead and paint the car. Are we doing this? You sure? Yeah, let's get to it. I'm a bit worried. What's there to worry about? This is going very well. No problem. So here's what's up. Already, from up there I take it the view is great. We should wait for this paint to dry first. Just give it 10 minutes. 
And then we can try another color. But here's how it's shaping out so far. We didn't really get that other door. But these have got such an intricate pattern going. Love it. Barely any paint made it onto the trunk lid. You know, this ain't half bad. We are seeing a bit of dripping, but nothing to worry about really. It's always a sign of the painter's efforts. What, did you forget? It only means that he was very enthusiastic. Every time it's drawing a new line. Every time. Even if a bit does make it onto the windshield, no worries. Three, two, one, let it fly. <laughs> Environmental disaster. We have painted the floor, and we've run out of blue paint all of a sudden, that's for sure. I guess it had no place up there then. Which attempt is this? Like number three? Here we go. Look at it go! We are using a lot of paint. But what can you do? I see you guys are feeling relaxed over there. Like it's not gonna reach you? Let's go! Okay, fellas, as you can see, the art project is all nice and dry. I think it looks awesome. This sort of pendulum painting... Those lines... I have a feeling that you can't get that sort of pattern deliberately, even if you really want to. You can clearly tell, like, how they draw out a sort of... How that pendulum was swinging and squirting paint. I really like how this turned out. I really think we should paint a couple of our race cars using this method. When a car is screaming down an ice track, between piles of snow, that's where these patterns are really gonna pop, I reckon. Anyway, fellas, that's all I have for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in those comments. If you've got a race car yourself, you should use this method to give it a paint job. I mean, we know full well that race cars... Now, well, you don't completely lose mechanical sympathy for them. Still, though, when they're this colorful, they look really cool, you gotta admit. No need for a vinyl wrap, even. Awesome stuff. Right, watch us, subscribe, send in those comments and suggestions, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later. We have liftoff.